Hello YouTube. Been a long, long time. It's been almost two months since I reviewed this guy. Holy cow, I forgot how real forgot how big this thing was compared to everything else. So this is the two month, if not almost three month update of the Reef Knives. F6. Now let's get into this. Now, as you know, I uh, I gave this knife a very, 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 very high praise when I first reviewed it. Um, I used it a little bit. I didn't get to use an extreme amount, but the times I did get to use it, it was absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Um, I'm just wiping it off right now because I realized how dirty it was coming out of the sheath. <laughs> I've been using it. So, I'm still using the leather sheath. So, let's just get a couple things out of the way. This is still the same leather sheath. As you can see, I've used it. You know, I've carried it a bunch of times. I went camping with this recently. Um, the same fire steel. Um, everything. Um, the only complaint I have is the sheath on the inside has a tendency to, I don't know if I can get this, let's see if I can get my light a little bit better. Um, because of the inside, the sheath has a tendency to have little things, which you can love it or you can hate it. But I actually recently got the Kydex sheath for this knife. So... I've been really interested to carry it with this. I haven't had the chance yet, but I didn't get to review the Kydex sheet last time. So we're gonna do just a quick overview of the Kydex sheet. You still have the um, place for the fire steel, which is great. Um, this is actually detachable. So if you don't want that on there, that is awesome. The clip on this, if you're curious what the clip looks like, it looks like this. Um, I don't love it or hate it, but you can move it around, which is nice. Um, so if you want to put it on your waist, so imagine your belt's right there, put it on your waist, you could draw it like this, almost like a scout carry, you put it on your side, you can kind of have a diagonal, which is nice, okay? Now, there is the knife. Now, to show you how much I have used this knife, I will try to show you every little blemish I have put in this thing. There are scratches from me sharpening it because I was an idiot when I sharpened it. There are scratches from me when I was doing stuff that I shouldn't have been doing with it because I wanted to test it out. There is crap all over it. The edge as you could see of the spine is still fairly sharp i have what i do is um actually for my spines is um i have a little this is just a little ceramic stone a very translucent ceramic stone i just lightly just taking off any any crud i'll maybe go on the side you know on the knife a little bit and i'll you know make sure it's still staying sharp and stuff like that um, obviously the reef knives, the F6 made in USA are still there. Now, I don't know if you could tell this, but this was the original coating. It was like a, uh, a stonewash coating and obviously I've used it so much and I've had to clean it off and I've used, uh, I have a scotch bright pad somewhere. Oh yeah, it's right here. I have a little, uh, little scotch bright that I use to clean it up, everything else. Um, I have had to resharpen this a few times, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, I'm just letting you know everything that I'm doing, I've done with this knife. Um, it, obviously, it's come with a convex, you know, um, edge. I have resharpened it to a V edge, and then I brought it back to the convex edge because uh, I like the convex edge a lot better. I wanted to see the difference between the two as an own personal thing because. You know, everyone says convex, 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 but in the field, it's not as easy to strop this back or sharpen it. As you could see, I have some, I had some rusting happen, which it's 3V steel, so I expect that. Um, and I still love, love, love this knife. Um, I still 
carry it all the time when I can. Whenever I make a fire, let's see if I can get some of this light out of there, a little bit more natural. I still love, love, love this knife. I use it all the time. I use it almost every day that I can. Um, some days we're not doing much, some days we're having fires, some days we're hanging out and I'm doing stuff around the house. I was literally mowing the lawn the other day and had to take care of some uh, pesky, uh, what's it called, like just little vines and stuff and I was using this. I had to take down a couple trees, not big trees obviously, like little like maybe, you know, good couple inch diameter trees and I was using this knife and everything else. and. The thing, everything I throw at it, batoning, everything I throw at it, it just holds up. Now, <clears throat> pardon me. Look how, I mean, it's just, it's just holding up beautifully. Out of all the sharpening, scratches, and everything else, I, I can't complain. And honestly, I love all the, the scratches and everything else. I mean, what you know, it, it's my knife. I want, I want there to be, you know, issues. You know, I want there to look like there's, you know, it's not perfect because I want it, I use it, you know. I I know everybody, look, you look at these knives from other u reviewers, except for uh, not your average EDC, which I absolutely love her content. She's great. Um, but you, you look at a lot of these reviewers and their knives are barely even used. And it's like, okay, what are you telling me sometimes but I'm not going to judge because they have different things than I do um I did add on this little leather lanyard and this really cool brass beat bear head because I just love bears and always have you know um I don't know there's not much more I can say than for the initial review than the initial review that I made because all this st same stuff still holds up now uh, a couple comments I've had, you know, in the past and uh, on my last video even, and just by other people is that it is kind of an, a little bit pricier of a knife. Well, the thing is, though, is that you're getting a made in USA company, okay? These are not just any old G10 handles. These are nice G10. Like, I've had other G10s and they've been so slick and they feel cheap and they feel just very plasticky and... This G10 just, it feels great. I love the three screw design. These haven't loosened up on me at all. And I beat the crap out of this knife. Um, the steel is holding up amazing. I've had no imperfections that I haven't put in it. Um, meaning like I put in the scratches because of my sharpening and I, cause I was learning how to sharpen with a convex edge and I screwed up. So that was on me. Um, any other imperfections with this knife is all me. So there's no imperfections from the company at all. Like it has been absolutely amazing. I've sharpened it two or three times now. Um, two times, three times. I'm sorry. I have sharpened it three times. Um, I have no issue with sharpening it. It's absolutely great. I use the, um, I use the KME system and I have this, um, KME rod. If you could see, there's a slight bend in it. I don't know if it, how well that's going to come on the camera, but just comparing it to the, the straight KME rod. So when you're doing your standard V grind versus your convex grind, see how there's a little bend in the, the rod. Um, so that, that's something that I use to sharpen it. Um, I've used the, um, the DBK, um, strop a lot. Um, let me take it out. I've used this strap, obviously. This is a little bit newer of a strap, but you can see I still have used it um, for this knife. I've also used, which got ruined when I went camping because my son decided to cut the other way with it. But I have this uh, Beaver, it's Beaver Craft. Let me see. Yeah. I have this beaver crap strop with craft strop which you could see my son he was learning how to strop and I also brought my mora on vacation because or on camping I call it vacation because it was vacation from work 
Uh, I brought my Mora on because, um, one, I, my, I brought two of my sons with me, so if they wanted to do something, I let them use this. Um, I actually did let them use this here and there, but I wanted them to kind of learn a little bit with this. And my, my son decided to go this way with the strop instead of the way you're supposed to. So that's what happened there, and that's what happened there. So um, I'm not upset. I'm a little bummed out, but I can get a new one. These aren't these Beaver Creek ones aren't too expensive. Um, that's not the point. Um, you know, I've been using Gunny Juice. I've used the DBK polish. I used, um, because the KMEs come with these Kangaroo straps, so they come with, um, you know, I've been using different things to, to, to work with this knife. And it seems to work with everything so perfect and just amazing. And I seem to have little to no issue with how this knife actually holds up and works. It is still razor sharp. I mean, I went camping all week, you know, I went for a few days, you know, doing stuff in the woods. And, and then I even came home. I didn't sharpen it when I, I sharpened it before I left because I wanted to make sure it was sharp before I left. Um, and then I wanted to, um, and then I came home I stropped it over the, you know, I stropped it over obviously the camping time and then uh, I used it out in my yard. I was hacking away at stuff with it. Um, I took down a few trees and I mean, the thing is just still, I mean, it's not perfect, but I mean, for, I know you guys don't know everything I did with it, but I mean, I was taking down you know, like two inch diameter trees, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it was doing its job. It was doing what I needed to do. I made walking sticks for my sons and myself for fun um, out of some trees that were in the woods. Um, I was, like I said, I was full on using this as a hatchet almost because it was just, it just works so well. So I just wanted to give a little update on, you know, how much I still love this knife people were commenting on the price I just want to remind you and, and this is just because um, I, I feel like this is something that you know gets overlooked but if you think about this the, the where where is the price coming from you know you kind of wonder where is the price coming from and this is where part of the price is coming from lifetime transferable warranty okay where else is the price coming from price i mean everything's going up in, in cost but this is where also the price is coming from made in usa okay guaranteed for life lifetime transferable warranty if i decide i want to give this knife to my son or one of my sons because i got four of them but my two older right now obviously are, are doing stuff but if i wanted to give this to them you know and say hey you know this was my camping knife i'm too old for camping or whatever it is here you take it and they were to do something with it reef would still take care of it which still is to me that's amazing i have i absolutely love that i love the fact that there it's a transferable warranty I love the fact that it just, it's a, it's just such a good knife. It really is. And, and you know, there's so many knives out there and, and I know there's tons of knives out there. Some are less expensive, some are more expensive, but I'll tell you, I, uh, ooh, I am so sorry about that. I am uh, more than pleased with this reef knife and I am looking forward to now they re finally released the F3, um, which they told me about, um, but I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to ruin anybody's trust. Um, and I really would love to pick up an F4, but I feel like with the F6, I don't really need the F4, but the F3 might be cool because that could be more of like an EDC knife because I would love to EDC a reef knife. Um, Sorry for the delay, like I said, 
like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Stay safe. And good luck out there. It's, it's not easy. We're all hurting. It's not easy. Take care. Bye.